Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Control Ultimate Edition. Where we last left off was we finished one half of the... I guess was the second one? The second mission that we were going through for the Foundation DLC? Um, give me actually a quick second here. Uh, I needed to do something like a double check. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. That's entirely on my computer. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was I needed to check because the microphone seems to always like downgrade its like quality of like pickup to like a certain number and I'm just like pissed that it does that. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Control. Uh and we're gonna continue with control as as usual. Um I think we had a countermeasure or no not countermeasure, a bureau alert to deal with. So let's go and do that first. Yeah, I remember we had that, and I was like, uh, I need to remember to do this before <laughs> in the next episode before I forget. All right, it's good that it's like not in a far, far part of the of the fast travel. At least we can create a fast travel to it directly, and hopefully, like things will work out the way it should be for that. Yeah. Otherwise, I just think that uh, once I'm done with the whole bureau alerts of the five I need, which I think I need two more. I'm probably going to go back to just playing the DLC and just finishing up the game once and for all. Like, I'm not aiming too hard, like, I'm not aiming too directly into, like, uh, dealing with whatever it is. Eliminate key hiss. Ow, that was terrible. Okay. Okay, I'm doing poorly already. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, I'll take it. That was bad. That was a really bad way for me to take on that guy. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the other guy? Where's that guy? Where's the, where's the guy? Oh, there we go. Oh, almost dead. There we go. I'll take it. That guy was a little easier than the other one. Which is weird to me. It, it's weird to me because the guy could have like made it a little bit harder on me, but I guess not. I'll take it. That was one beer ruler out of the way. Crisis management one out of five. Why is it one out of five? I thought I was like at the fourth one, the fourth, the fourth one, the, the fourth crisis management. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should just like check that up first before we move forward. But anyways, um, so yeah, we finished up the warehouse. We don't need to go back to the warehouse. We just need to go to go back to the crossroad, I believe, and then from there we should go to the other half of the place, which is for the foundation DLC. So we're heading back to foundation DLC, as I said. Um, after we're done with the bureau alerts. But I'm, I'm kind of strange out because it was like a bureau alert. And I had four of them done, I think. I remembered it being. But the achievement number thing that showed up was like one out of five. It said one, a one out of five instead. Oh, we have people in here now. Oh, Emily's down here too. Interesting. Jesse, hey. Emily, how did she get down here? Yeah, how did she just popped up down here all right let me get something let me look at something quick i'm sorry if i keep pausing constantly in the middle of like the videos let me see uh that's strange yeah it's acknowledging it as three out of five rather than or maybe after i finish the game it'll update itself properly probably we'll see we'll see i need to do one more to kind of make sure that that's the case but i have no clue if that's the case all right let's go then let's talk to emily what are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But what? then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. What? Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world. I know, isn't it fascinating? Uh, I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire bureau, and possibly beyond. 
That's what I'm here to stop. The Borg told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Huh. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. You think Darling knew about this? Yeah. I'd put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But oh. Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. <laughs> I need to stop Oof. the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. I'm pretty sure we really kind of picked up a bunch of detailed notes. Okay, what is this? Oops. I want to see what this mission is. This particular Pope's collection. Talk to Pope. Okay, so we need to talk to her to get the other thing, but let me see what other things she's... If there's any dropped up, like, new information that they've drummed up in this area, I guess. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new in here yet. Hey, try not to launch me, director. No, what? <laughs> so is is the first statement true or the second statement just to de de debunk? I saw the director launch a hiss at one of those flying hiss, which then fell onto another hiss. Really? That's a thing. I've never tried that before. Okay, I can't open this pathway, which is where we need to go, right? Oh wait, no, we don't have the thing activated, so I don't know if that's the case. Um, base camp. So that's not the base camp, that's something else. Um... Where is the base camp? I just realized. We didn't even... I didn't even take a look at where the base camp is. Alright, well, we're gonna have to look for the base camp. But let me talk to Emily so we can do that startup of the, uh... I wanna start up that one side quest that she has. Jesse, you're back! So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. Oh. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Oh. Uh. Are you starting a collection? <laughs> I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for bureau staff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. Yeah, of course. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. Oh. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? Yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. That's true. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. <laughs> See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or... The ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. Hmm. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. <laughs> bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. I think I have like three of them. Three to f three of them before this one, before this conversation. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, I have like two more to pick up, I think it looks like. I mean, I don't know where the rest of the other ones would be. I mean, that's the hard part. 
Um, I wish there was a better way of count counting my cards, but yeah, I got two more cards to pick up, I think. Uh, should I go for the nail or the Pope's collection? Screw it, I'm gonna do the Pope's collection. I do want to get as much ability points before hitting into like main stuff because I feel like I get scared not having to be a bit prepared for my fights ahead of the time, so yeah. Yeah, so if we do another Imperial Alert, uh, hopefully that one will close out the the achievement. Hopefully. Hopefully it does. And hopefully it was just like... Hopefully the... Uh, what's my call it? The achievement will activate itself. And yeah, we still need to do a lot of that. We still got like... I think we got like 30 more to do. 30 more times of that we need to do. Right, where would the last two cards be? Also, I did I did see, I think... Oh, jeez. Alright. I wanted to grab the freaking... Oh, come on. Oh, no, I wanted to get the piercing. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Seize him, seize him. Thank you. Alright. Screw off. Oh wait, no, no. There we go. That's better. Better, better hurry it up. Oh jeez, there's another. Oh my god, there's another set. There we go. Oh jeez. There we go. I got that one at least. So many flying ones. Damn it. Oh god, that was a close one. Oh god. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? I need to grab this. Oh. Screw off. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take the death. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What the hell is that? Okay, that was it. Okay, cool. Man, that was really tough. That was, like, a really tough fight. I was, like... I was struggling because there's like a bunch of things moving about and it's just like it makes it a little bit harder on me. Did that so I can just pick up the uh pick up some health health heals, heals health, health heals, yeah. I realize there's a thing up here. I think I've already went up here before, but I might have just forgotten it. Uh why is it like all the way up here? Like what is the height for? Oh, there's a thing up here. Oh, I see. It might be to go up there. Get up to that spot much more quickly, I guess. Yeah, I remember we had a spot, but it was, like, locked to us. So, yeah, I think that's the spot that I'm seeing with the red light. Right, we got, we're almost out of spots for this. Oof. We're almost out of room for the, the whole... Okay, we got a better zoom pierce here. So we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, oh, we got a thing from Shatter that is better than that, so we'll get rid of that. Um, spin. Enraged Ammo Refund. That's a interesting name. Oh, we found a, okay, we found something better for the pure zoom again. Okay, I see. So there's there's something that looks similar in the case of... No, I'm right. Yeah, I might have just forgotten that one, I guess. I don't know. I, I think I might have deconstructed the wrong one, but I just... I am just can't... I can't tell because the icons are so similar in style, almost. <laughs> it's not the same, but it's just very similar in that, that, that way, I guess. Okay, get rid of that. I need to probably label uh, some of these by categories, or types, I mean, so that it can make it easier on me. Uh, same for here, I think. I don't need to do it in type. I don't want new because new is not making it easier on me because I keep having to like see them in categories that are harder for me to kind of catch a hold of. Oh yeah, we, they're all different. Cool. I might one. I might eventually have to deconstruct all of them anyways, or some of them that I don't really need anymore because I feel like there are a couple points where I will eventually not need them anymore, and they just become useless to me. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Let's see what... 
charge. Oh, I have something better than the, the thing that I just saw. I think I saw one of them being... No, it's not. It looks the same, I guess. Velocity. How much velocity is this? 59% versus 61 that I'm equipped with. No, I'm gone. I'm good. My gun is good. Uh, I think I'm going to switch off the charge for now. Yeah, I want to try charge, but I think that's the problem for me is that uh, the difficulty of like not getting hit by my own bullet is where I'm scared of the most. Hey, in the cart. Yeah, we saw the cart earlier. Those ID cards. Security chief. Okay, so we got one more card left to get, it seems like. Shoot. There we go. Ash, request denied. Dr. Ash, as chief evacuation officer, it's my job to support this research team, so I got you, your machine, for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it's also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many tips I, it took to get to an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece? And do you know how many of my guys we lost in those tip trips? Here's a hint. Too freaking many. Which brings me to my point. I'm writing you today because of the request that you had to hand land that you just landed on my desk. Apparently, you want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of columns by air. I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, and effort and blood this toy would cost us. Oh, I see. So this, so Ash wanted some stuff that would be beneficial to not only him but to anybody in the bureau to kind of like go in here and like take a look at things because he wants to test things out and that's some really good old school stuff a lot of good old school stuff okay so there's this underground thing we need one more card to get downstairs i think yeah the button won't work until we get all five id cards which i'm missing one which is absolutely bad because when it comes down to just one card it's usually the hardest one to find. I'm gonna see if there's anything up here. I don't think so, but... <sighs> Alright, well, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna double check this whole area first before we move out here. Uh, I think we're good then. He has the last... Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're just like, we're missing just one last card, and that's pretty much it and uh emily did say that the last card should be around the warehouse so we only got that one left to look for the one last one left to get really we, we have already listened to that audio right there already um... i think the animation is broken because of the gates closing for some reason every time Maybe there was a potential of finding hidden locations, because I know there's multiple hidden locations in this game. Uh, like, there's a good few that exist in this game. I think we haven't explored this spot yet, have we? Crossroads? Oh, this goes back to the crossroads thing. Oh, what? Oh, that was like, semi-shortcut back to the crossroads, I guess. That we could have taken, I guess. This is kind of strange. I've never been through this area before. I'm a little creeped out because it's like... I've never been here, but at the same time, I'm scared that it might be... A dead end like this. Is it truly a dead end here? Because it's to the crossroads and I'm confused because I don't see any... Pathway to crossroads. Yeah, I don't know if I'm missing something or if that was just like a way to say, hey, that was just a dead end anyway, so... I don't know anymore. Alright, this last key card, ID card, needs to exist somewhere, right? Um, I did pick up an item. Not sure what it was. What is this icon, though? There's this, like, icon that's on the top left of the picture. Is that, like, a foundation? symbol i guess like it comes off of the foundation dlc oh there's the same one 
This one's weaker than this one, so I'll take this one out. Okay, nothing there. Um, yeah, we didn't pick up anything new in here, I don't think. Yeah, I need to be careful with how much I get here. I don't know what the last ID would look like, or where was the ID would be at. Oh god, not again. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Get out of here. There we go. Oh. Did I just kill the other guy? Oh, I did kill the other guy then, I guess. Oh, I got some health. Where are you? Come on! <laughs> I like how they're just like walking towards me still. Gotcha. Oh jeez. Oh, there's two of them dead, apparently. Oh jeez. I got a little bit. Got him. I don't, I mean, I don't know if there was more to that, but hopefully not. Alright. I'm sorry I'm doing this more because I want to make the achievement. I want to get to the achievement through this already, so. Yeah, it's like 80. It's just 80. Okay, we're still on time. Um, maybe the ID could be in one of these buildings still, but I just need to look closely to them, maybe. I doubt it, but, like, I don't know. It's just, I felt like I've already been through all this, and I don't want to keep looking at it, because I feel like it's not going to make a difference. Uh, nope. Maybe somewhere in behind here, maybe? Doubt it, but, because there's not enough room in the back. What is this? Yeah, what is this? It's like a bunch of wirings put into one space inside of itself. I've never seen that mechanic before, or I've seen that that thingy in bobber. Nothing there. Maybe it's inside the building itself? I don't even know yet. Alright, let's go, I guess. Nope, not what I wanted. Uh, let's go to the power core. I think there might be some hidden stuff that I haven't seen just yet, and that's probably why I'm not, like, able to be sure if there's some stuff I missed out on. Or it could be in between those, like, building places, like the... Thinking about it, I haven't actually been to that spot, though, thinking about it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in here, I don't think. I don't think there was a portrait in here or anything, like, there was not, like, some kind of picture sign that says, hey... Destroy this wall, you'll get something special, kind of feeling. Now, let me go back downstairs to the first one. I think I want to try to get to that one little small space that I saw. <clears throat> yeah, because there's like a spot here, like like one of the floorings that like you can't reach with elevator. <clears throat> there's like a spot that I can't reach without the elevator. And it's in the middle of everything else, I think. Is this high enough, I guess? Here. No, it's not high enough, okay. All right, so it, it definitely is this one spot we need to just like grab a hold of to use. I can't even tell where's the, the rock. Okay, right here. No! Oh, damn it. I messed up. I messed that up. Okay. I need to do that again. So, the only way to get up to this spot right here, which I haven't been to before, I feel like, is through the rocks here, I guess. Okay. Uh... Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the next step? I can't tell. Because all of these look almost the same, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. 
Uh, we are apparently here. I haven't been here before, yeah. Oh, there's the last card. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I was right. This ID card was for an excavation engineer. Alrighty, cool. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? Probably they think it's useless at this point. Trauma, trauma, oh, ammo reload. <clears throat> so I was right. That one little spot was the, the specific stop, like spot that it is. Ammo to gain from melee damage. Oh, taking melee damage. Interesting. So these one specifically goes towards only specific guns. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't want that. I mean, for the Pierce, definitely might keep that around, but I'm most likely not gonna use it, I think. Uh, I realized... Did Spin have... Oh yeah, Spin did have a better efficiency one. Okay, I'll take that out of the way, so I can kind of give myself room for further usage of other things. Alright, let me pick up this bad boy. So now we can kind of go down to the last floor, the, the final floor. So we can see what the hell uh, Ash was hiding all this all this time inside that particular part. Meteor Hill, per archival mandates BA, the document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. The paradimensional occurrence consists of these three sequential sinkholes induced by subterranean implosions revealing foreign material of magnet of magmatic qualities. So lava? Okay, so there's some kind of magma, lava level, l lava like materials that ended up showing up in the area, I guess. Yeah, how the hell did you. I know it's coming up, but like, how the hell did this spot not become accessible still? I, I'm just confused by why they would gate it out like that. They'd gate out the, the levels in between the, uh, the spots like this, but. I'm pretty sure I missed one of those other floorings because I know when I went through the elevator while going up, I know there were some spots I just haven't looked at or that I couldn't get through because I have to like find out a way to get to it, I think. But we'll see. Alright, we're almost there. Up down. Cool. From the layer of dust on this place, nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. <laughs> There's an elevator. Oh. Which I'm sure is super safe. In a space in each terminal for an ID card. Which card goes where? Yeah, what? Oh, I see. There it is. Okay, so we need to figure out by desks, isn't it? What's that sound? It's like shooting. Oh, do we have to, like, use our notes to see who's, like, actually, like, the way they are, I guess? I think a video game's playing in the background or something? I can't tell. So this guy's a weaponsmith. So maybe he's kind of like a... He might be a security, judging from it. This guy is all about physics, typewriting, everything, kind of like a documenter. So he could be a... He might be head of research. This one might be head of research. And I mean, it could be Ash because he is the only one typing a lot, it seems like, I'd say. What is that noise? It keeps shooting like... Jesus, it's kind of weird. Oh, this could be Ash as well, but this one has a computer, though. And this guy's very... Oh, there's another... Actually, let me take this back. Actually, let's do the beer alerts now, I guess? Yeah, let's do the beer alerts, and then I'll come back to this in the next episode to kind of close out this particular side quest. For now, I just want to, like get everything else out for now. I'm thinking that is the security one for sure. Like that's definitely going to be security because that's the only one with weapons and everything. But otherwise I think the the remaining stuff is like 
um, the other remaining stuff is going to be the hard ones to kind of figure out because you don't know, or I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, like, ones are right or wrong sometimes. Back to the ritual division again. Huh. It's not far from where we were at earlier with it. Uh, in the first part of the episode, I guess. Or first, yeah, first, the, the first part of that episode. Uh, this one, yes. Ritual division again. Major targets, meaning we're gonna kill some big baddies again. I think we failed one of them at one point, but that's because I was stupid. I was I was acting a little bit stupid, or I was just like coming into the episode for the session for the first time in a long while since the previous session of thing kind of thing. I mean, every two videos I've kind of like make them into a session from what I do. So, but otherwise it's like yeah, I can get rusty when I'm starting out the episode for the first time in a long time. All right, here we go. I guess. Wait, was that's not it? Oh, I was like, that's not the end of it. I think. There we go. Thank you. I need some health back a little bit. Where is it? I I hear him, but I don't know where he's at. Yep. There we go. Got it. And there's the achievement. Crisis management achievement unlocked. Cool. So yeah, I guess the number that they were posting when I was getting through the things is uh, was not accurate, but it was just like kind of like giving it to me in a way that didn't make sense to me a little bit. All right, back to the warehouse. Um, yeah, I, I am out of time here. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or another video minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night, or whenever you're watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and go back to this warehouse to see if we can solve the puzzle of trying to open up the basement level of the warehouse and see what really is hidden inside of uh, Ash's sort of like experimental place. I guess. I mean, overall, it's like. Uh, no, I wanted to do that so I can like get at least something done with that get one of them done with it try to get that achievement as I said as I was going to all right but yes next episode we'll go ahead and go through this spot again uh figure out um what the hell we're gonna be doing with this should I do a thumbnail I think I have Emily as like a thumbnail again here I think for this episode because we did talk to her and she's in a different scenery so it made sense I guess with that um yeah, next episode we'll go ahead and solve this puzzle, and then once we're done with this puzzle, we'll probably move on to go back to the base camp uh, main quest, main mission thing that we're doing in this particular Foundation DLC. So far I'd say that the Foundation DLC has been interesting, because it's a whole new location, it has a whole new set of mechanics. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this whole thing plays out, because it seems very super related to Marshall, so we're gonna... And, and old school, and also about the foundations, like, origins, stuff like that, so that's, or the, the FEC's origins and stuff like that, so it'll be interesting. Otherwise, that's it for this episode, so, Roz. <laughs>